Now, if you love shopping at Goodwill, then you are going to love this video because I found some good, good deals and there is little to no DIY skill involved. I'm Jamie, the crafty DIY guy. Welcome back to my channel. So for me, Goodwill can be a little dangerous because sometimes I find stuff that uh, I think I need, I think would look great in my house because I, you know, saw it in a retail store a long time ago and thought, oh my God, that's so cool and now it's so cheap. But prices are increasing at Goodwill and that's kind of helping me a little bit, if anything, because it's making me go, maybe I don't really need that, you know? So when I went into Goodwill today, I was certainly having kind of those thoughts on a lot of things that I found, but I did find some really cool items that uh, I wanted to share with you guys. And there's gonna be almost no DIYs involved, just some simple polishing and cleaning things up in some cases. And uh, yeah, we've got some cool decor pieces that we can add to our house. So the very first thing I found was this fantastic candlestick. And I love <laughs> this so much. You guys know me, you know my style, you know my aesthetic, this kind of industrial vibe with this wood. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. It was $4.09, which was originally marked at $9.99, but it looks like there was a uh, another price underneath it. I did try to peel this off and I had no luck. Now, when I was looking around at this, I was thinking, my gosh, this is beautiful. This is really, really heavy. And I knew that I would need a candle for it. I found this candle and this candle happens to fit perfectly on top of here. Now it's a little wonky right now because I just have to straighten it up. But what's cool about this candle too is that it is battery operated. Now this candle was a dollar nine and I was thinking to myself, oh gosh, what if it doesn't work? You know, it, it looks like it's got the little faux wick. Like, ugh, am I gonna like this or not? And I happened to check the inside and there were batteries in there. There were some Duracell batteries in there and I thought, Okay, maybe, and they have these little buttons on the bottom. So I started pushing the buttons. Look at that, it works. It works, and not only does it work, it goes to different colors. Hello, Christmas time. It goes to green, it goes to red. Now it's not changing. Did I just kill the battery? Okay, there it goes again. But check out that, how nice is that gonna be? Especially, when it's sitting on top of this candle holder. This is definitely a, a wax that's here, but how cool is this? And for me, I'm actually gonna put this in my living room and I'm gonna display this next to my television. And I think it's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna give the perfect glow and it's gonna look really, really good. And I paid $5 and 18 cents if you wanna really drill it down to the exact pricing and everything. And again, how cool is this? This is such a great deal and it's perfect for my style. Now, the other thing I found when I was searching through my Goodwill store are these placemats and they're kind of these woven placemats. There's actually six of them in here and they were $3.99. So, you know, four bucks divided by six, definitely not a bad deal at all. And I thought that these could be really, really great for some DIY projects. I was actually thinking that these could be beautiful texture for a, uh, I've got a couple ideas in mind actually. I'm not gonna do a DIY in this video with these right now, but I was thinking how cool would these be lined in the back of a shelf? They are almost the perfect size for like something like this. And can you imagine if this was in the back there of the shelf, it would totally cause everything to pop in through here. And because it's almost the exact perfect size, I could literally tape this up and have it in the background there. You know what, let's go ahead and do it because this is gonna be nothing. And you'll see how beautiful these are in the background and what a huge difference it makes just in displaying all of the knickknacks and pieces that I have. I really love this and I was actually thinking that I could also use these when I'm doing a bar revamp. Or the great thing about these two, I could just use them on my table in my dining room. Now, if you haven't figured out about me, you probably don't watch my channel a whole lot, but I really love candles. Candles are displayed throughout my house. I have them in almost every single room in one way or another. And I have a mix of battery operated candles and I also have a mix of just, you know, fire 
operated candles. And uh, these candlesticks were something that I found. They're in uh, three different sizes and they're glass. And I loved them immediately. However, because I do have a lot of candlesticks, I kept putting them back. I also found some wood ones that were very, very similar to these, but I thought the glass would be a little different than normal. And I thought if I ultimately wanted to paint these, I really could, cause I could do it with some spray paint. Now with these, because they are three different sizes, as you can see here, you've got the tall one, and then you've got the baby one here that's kind of clanging all together. And then you've got this medium size. Now for me, I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna put these on my mantle because I think that they would be absolutely beautiful on my mantle. And I also love the fact that they are clear glass or that they are glass because I can put any kind of candle that I want on the top of these and that's going to bring me a lot of color and I really am going to love using these because they're going to be extremely versatile in really any part of my decor. Another thing I always look for whenever I'm going to a Goodwill store is Corningware and I hit the Corningware jackpot this time. Now this first piece that I found I love this. It came with the lid. It's the perfect size for me. It's the perfect size. I'm a single guy. I live by myself. Anytime I want to cook something, I don't want to necessarily use a big giant pan. This is going to be perfect for me. I can do soups in this. I can do stews in this. I could bake something. I could put a pork loin in it and just cut it in half. There's a lot of different things that I can do in this. And the great thing about this was it was $2.09. Now, I don't know if this is vintage I don't know anything about Corningware. I just know that I like Corningware. I like cooking with it. It's something that my mom, my grandmother always cooked with. And this particular one I thought was the perfect size. Now it does say on the bottom of it that it is um, range, oven, and microwave. So my assumption is it's not vintage because I don't know if uh, Corningware came out when the microwaves came out or not. But either way, this is gonna be a great piece for me to have. Now this next one, I fell in love with. Let me make sure I put this down really, really nicely. And um, this is called the Corningware Sauce Maker. And this little gem just shouted out at me. Um, I looked it up when I was in the store on eBay and this sells for about $60 on eBay. Now it does come with the lid or the one on eBay selling for $60 has a lid. Mine did not. I looked high and low for lids and there were no lids at all for this. However, this is still something that I'm going to treasure. This is the Corningware Sauce Maker. And what's so great about this is you've got this handle here. You can make sauces in it. You can pour, cause it's got the directional kind of pours on either side. But what I loved about it also is check that out. On the inside, you've got the measurements for up to four cups. So for me, I'm probably gonna use this just like a regular measuring cup. And this by the way was $3.09 and it matches because it's got that same kind of corn blue flower pattern on the front. Um, once again, this does not have any kind of markings or anything, but to me, it looks like it's brand new because of that kind of label there. Everything is very, very bright, very, very easy to see. The only thing it's missing is the lid and I don't care because I'm going to still love it and it's going to look amazing in my kitchen. And by the way, guys, anytime you're shopping, and remember, if you've got a receipt, scan it into Fetch Rewards. If you're not familiar with Fetch Rewards, Fetch Rewards is an app that you can use to win or to get points every time you go shop. And then you can take those points and you can redeem them for amazing gift cards and all kinds of things. So if you're not familiar with Fetch Rewards, check out the link in my bio below. You will get 2,000 points when you scan your very first receipt and it takes receipts from everywhere. Gas station, McDonald's, Dollar Tree, Goodwill, grocery stores, really anything that you want. And I totally dropped something that I've got in my hand to show you. I purchased some shoes and some clothing at Goodwill as well, which I typically don't do, um, or at least I haven't done in quite a while. Now, the shoes that I purchased, I bought these great loafers. And the reason why I bought them, one, they were only $8.99, but these are bass regions. These are very expensive shoes, and these are going to be perfect for summertime. Now, I do go through a process anytime I buy shoes from Goodwill. I spray the inside with a 
ton of antibacterial spray, usually a Lysol or something like that. I let them dry. And then if they are leather like these are, these are good, good quality leather, then I will polish them up. You can look at these and you can see that they're dusty. They've probably been in somebody's closet or in an attic. And then any of these kind of scuff areas along the edge, I will take some shoe polish and just kind of clean those up. And these will look brand new before you know it. Now I can be very picky about my clothes, but I found this just yummy flannel shirt. And when I saw this flannel shirt, it immediately reminded me of just a cozy, comfy blanket. And I thought that this could be the perfect kind of fall accessory because I wear t-shirts and jeans a lot and I love flannel. And I've just been looking for that flannel that's just a good lightweight, that's not gonna be too heavy, that's something I can wear with jeans and a t-shirt and kind of kick around. Now, I will take any of these clothing that I purchase at Goodwill, I'll always wash them and then I iron them. And then as you can see, this is a perfect fit. I love the way this fits. I think that is so stylish. I love it with the t-shirt that I'm wearing. And even though right now I've got shorts on and I look a little silly. This is going to be perfect once I pair it with some jeans. And the last shirt that I bought was this great red, white, and blue one. I love this. This is just a long sleeve Oxford shirt. There are no rips or no tears or no stains in it, which is always a plus. And the brand is Izod, which is a brand that really does fit me nicely. What I also love about the Izod brand is that they don't really shrink a whole lot. Now, the other shirt was the George brand, and that's a Walmart brand. Sometimes they shrink, sometimes they don't. I typically do wear a lot of George items. And by the way, both of these shirts for $6.24. Now with this particular one, I think it'd be great to roll it up and wear it this summer with some jeans and a t-shirt. I also think that this would be absolutely fantastic to wear this fall with some jeans. And I do think that this is going to be a staple in my wardrobe for sure. All right, you guys, that is my Goodwill haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. I personally love everything that I found. I'm so excited about the shirts. I'm excited about the shoes. I'm excited about the candlesticks. I'm pretty excited about everything. I would love to know in the comments, what is the best item that you've scored at your Goodwill store? Or if you even like going to Goodwill stores, let me know in the comments below and I look forward to bringing you more videos videos really soon. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.